All right, we're gonna take you on the New Plymouth walkway here. It's uh, February 1st, I think, Saturday. So um, you get to see what this beautiful walkway is like. Hopefully this will work. Sprocket on her, her bike. Better? Turn your own for a second so you can see the view this way. It's beautiful. Notice the wind wand.
waves there. That's cool. Yeah, for all of our viewers, but sometimes when the sea is so rough, like if you're if you're actually like walking on here and uh, like in high tide or storm tide, <laughs> it, you can get washed off here. Even you can see how far down that surface. See the sign right up here says extreme danger in big seas. I've been down here jogging when the, the waves will crash on these rocks and literally wash over these uh, over the rocks on the left way itself. So. Don't see too many people fishing right out here. It's a bit too rocky. We have to go we have to go a bit further out past the reefs. fun to, uh, to walk around in though. You can go down there. You gotta wear shoes because the rocks are so sharp. You can find starfish and sea anemones and sometimes the occasional eel and mussels and down in those tide pools down there. What's that? What's that? Crab, lots of crabs. The tide is way out. I can't remember that. Look at how far out that is. Hopefully those are some. This walkway is hugely thick. I mean, I don't know, it's like a meter thick or more. Just to withstand the pounding of the sea and the shifts. And they did a good job with it though, because even though we get all these little mini earthquakes and so forth, you don't see many, you don't see, it, doesn't, it doesn't seem to shift, does it? Ago, they had um, they had the annual just past the wind one, and they have all these local artisans. They they have a, a, a like a river, giant river rock delivered, and they have to figure out what to carve. So they bring all these big pneumatic tools, and they actually sculpt right there in front of everybody, so they can see it. This is cool. If you can see it up on the right here, that's all like sandstone and papa from volcanic eruptions, but you can see. That the sea level used to be much higher because the the sea level um, the, it was the ocean that carved out all those little craters I don't know, centuries ago I guess or thousands of years ago and then it's receded down. Like if you look, you can see the lower level level would probably be like papa or volcanic ash, and on top of that would be the soil. Since how long it's been since the last major eruption. It's a volcanic underneath and then the soil from the plants on top of it. I know there's a no wind spot. 